Good afternoon, people. <clears throat> so, munching on whole grain Cheerios. So, I've been debating whether or not to do this video. I don't seem to be, I'm a video person, but I don't seem to be a consistent <laughs> video person. Um, I'm not someone that shares my life so fluidly as other people do you know so it can be a little a little um what's the word like pulling teeth for me to even do a video i think that's just the it's just the um it's the time i'm in right now <laughs> the time I'm in right now like I just don't really I'm doing this on my laptop I just don't really um I don't really care <laughs> you ever had that where you just don't care you're like I just don't I just don't care I really don't care um and it's not so much that it's like melancholy or depressive or you know um, where you're just like ah whatever it's like or you're mad at anybody or it's just I think I'm more of like a one-on-one -on -one, or I like to speak to people and I like feedback um, and it just dawned on me today like when you open yourself up to the world whether it's on YouTube whether it's on social media like Instagram Facebook snapchat whatever some people just feed off of that i'm not one of those people i am an introvert so for those of you that are introverts you know it can be draining <laughs> just putting yourself out there or bringing more of yourself out there it's very draining because you have to constantly give you're constantly giving but for extroverts they gain energy that way that is not me um <laughs> I have to come to seclusion in order to build up energy, like many of you are, <clears throat> especially when you are high, highly empathic, highly sensitive. Um, some of the some of the things that are going on today in the world, it's just it becomes overwhelming. You get news feeds all, all across your social media, so you're seeing all of these. All of this international and national news that can just become a lot for your for your emotional self, your spiritual self, your physical body. It all takes a toll and it builds, builds, builds. <clears throat> and at a certain point, you got to kind of just shut it down. Otherwise, you will just you will just kind of crash emotionally, physically, mentally. It just becomes too much. Um, and I realized today, I was like, I'm just, I'm done. I don't know if any of you have gotten there where you just feel like you're done. Like done is done. I don't want to hear no more. And I've been here before, but she just feel like I won't hear no more news. I don't hear about nobody else dying. I don't want to hear about no more violence. <clears throat> like, I still won't hear nothing anymore. I just want to go into this seclusion bubble. And I want to rest. And I want to build myself back up. Um... I can't give myself anymore, you know, of myself, whether it's to other people, whether it's the family, to friends, you just kind of go into that bubble. You're like, I need to build myself back up. And that's kind of where I am. And so there are a lot of times where I'm in that seclusion bubble and I want to watch something that's uplifting, something that makes me feel on a soul level that, you know, I can... I can grasp or I can relate or or I can find hope in these in these things that I'm watching. And a lot of times whether I'm looking at Instagram stories, whether I'm looking at YouTube videos, no matter what I'm looking at, one of the things that I notice is that everything is about the physical. It's all about the way you look, you know? And I swear, like, if I see one more picture in a bikini or one more picture of somebody putting makeup on their face, 
like all over foundation like they literally are putting on a new fucking face that looks different from their original face and you're like what the hell like I don't want to do all of that you know I just want to touch here touch I don't want to put on a whole new face because you think well what do I tell how do I explain this what do I tell you know my six-year-old or what do I tell what do you tell a little girl you know who's looking at this and they're like in order for people to be drawn to me or in order for me to feel beautiful I gotta buy all this stuff and then I gotta put it on my face and I gotta pretty much have a new face every single day like that's a lot you know I, I always felt makeup was to enhance the beauty versus completely covering up what you have um, unless it is necessary um, in regards to maybe how you really really feel about yourself maybe you've had some physical trauma and you got to cover it up totally different story you know um, so it's a lot and when it becomes a lot you have to go back into that little bubble and it's fine to be in that bubble it's fine to go into a place where you feel like I need a siesta <laughs> I need a siesta. What is my siesta? How long is this going to last? And people are just going to have to deal with it. And that's how it is. That's, that's how it's going to ride out, you know? And it occurred to me today, I was out and about and I was like, I'm tired of this. I don't see no more, no more videos. That's not feeding my soul. If it's not feeding my soul. I don't want to see it. I am not about funding anybody's walk-in closets at this point. <laughs> I'm not funding nobody's walk-in closets unless the value that I'm getting back is feeding my soul. Now, if you feed my soul, here, take the money. I'll fund your closet. I'll fund your pool. I'll fund your new house. And you can do a video about that. But if it's not feeding my soul, what the hell, what, what the hell am I doing? What the hell are you doing? You know, at this point, you're just kind of throwing shit against the wall and see what's going to stick, but you're not helping humanity in the long run. And each individual person, including myself, is a part of humanity. So that's just kind of where my thought process is today. Um, a lot of people expect me to always talk about physical health, but physical health has so much to do with mental health and how you continue to move forward um, every single day and the choices you make every single day and how strong you develop this how strong you keep this how strong you protect this you need to protect your mind in this life what you look at what you see what you allow your eyes to see your ears to hear um, what you pretty much allow to come into your space your aura whatever you want to call it to keep yourself sane and to keep your um, to keep your sanity, man, you know, and that's what it is. So that was my whole like epiphany today. I'm not funding nobody's walk-in closet unless it feeds my soul, because it's just too much happening right now. And I think that I think a lot of people either you're in this space or you're approaching this space, which is fine, especially during the springtime because things are slowly, 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 <laughs> things are slowly fading and coming out and, and, um, you know, we're renewing ourselves for, um, for the upcoming season and new, new versions of us are blossoming, you know? So that's what I wanted to share today. Um, there are a couple of videos. I bought some really great stuff, but I've just been in this place and I want to share with you guys, but I've just been in this place where I'm like, I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to deal with nobody. I just, I just want to play the Sims, do some homework, you know, get some stuff together, focus on whatever it is I'm focusing on and play the Sims <laughs> and just be in my own little bubble, feed my birds my outside birds and just be in this bubble you know a lot of times like I'll put on a little bit of makeup for myself you know like and I enjoy it and I sit there and I watch girly flicks and um, 
and I eat a lot of Cheerios, <laughs> and um, yeah, and I just, I just kind of enjoy my time, and I just kind of build, I'm building myself back up after like a year of medical trauma, um, <clears throat> and so sometimes that's necessary, so out of everything I said, I hope you guys <laughs> take away something, don't find nobody's walk-in closet unless it's feeding your soul, um, and I think that should be a really big takeaway, but, um, yeah, so enjoy your week, and I'll see you in the next video.